How'd you like to be one of those winners? I have a bit of a problem with Charlie Sheen. Mostly, you know, his show got canceled for $1.7 million a week. He was unhappy. He says he was underpaid. And I got news for you, Chuck Carlos, your real name, Carlos Estevez. That's his real name, you know? I got fired by CBS for a good two years before he did. You don't see me ranting and raving on the Today Show. I took my lumps like a man. I didn't head up into the hills with goddesses. Did you see Charlie Sheen? These women he calls his goddesses? I don't know about you, but when I was a child and I imagined goddesses, they were way prettier. <laughs> and these two fives he pulled out of a daytime strip club in the San Francisco. <laughs> Parkas in the fall, I don't know what this is. Like, goddesses shouldn't have roots. Just, I, that's all it's doing. <laughs> like, if you're a goddess, clean up your kitchen. <laughs> Charlie Sheen is winning, winning, duh. Oh, that's fantastic, man. I can't wait to do uh, Major League Three. You saw the interview. I can't wait to do Major League Three, man. It's like, hey, dummy, they already did Major League Three with Scott Bakula. He doesn't even know what number of Major League they're on. <laughs> and he's just going to take the world by storm. Winning, dumb, or all. Everybody's a troll, man. <laughs> the, but he's like, it's, if you take Charlie Sheen's words, and only listen to the audio while looking at a photograph of Charles Manson. <laughs> There's really no gap in time from where Charlie left off and Charlie picked up. I'm on the 405, I'm in the San Diego Zoo, I'm everywhere, man. Hey man, it's all you perceive it. I'm a Vatican assassin, man. That's the same guy. <laughs> establishment. You're the establishment. We're all the establishment, man. Are you him? Am I me? Are you the monkey? Am I the egg? Hey, man, when it done, they're all warlocks and trolls, man. <laughs> Charlie meet Charlie. Charlie meet Charlie. Unbelievable. The guy's selling out everywhere he goes. And doing comedy on the road is a very difficult job. And this guy had a job, $1.7 million. And I was an employee of CBS and Les Moonves. They canceled my show too. And you know what? It happens. I never made $1.7 million for a five day work week. You know, we say that all the time, $1.7 million, but you don't realize like, you're only working Monday to Friday. Like, it's not like Monday to month like that would make it any like, oh, that's an outrage. You can't, hey man, stop beating this mule. Not gonna work on Maggie's farm no more, man. Monday to seven day work week, this is crazy. $1.7 million, and he's had it. He's got to get out of the business, man. It's too crazy. And I like when he goes, oh, I want to go back to movies. I got to take a big breath in my cracky Charlie Sheen voice. I like, uh, I want to go back to movies, man. I won an Oscar when I was 20. I wasn't even warm. I wasn't even trying, man. Duh. <laughs> Someone has taken Charlie Sheen's brain and replaced it with a bitchy 12-year-old girl's. <laughs> like, listen to what he's saying. Duh. I did that when I was 20. I wasn't even trying. Hello, duh. I wasn't even born yet. I don't want to work for you. If you want me back, you can give me a raise. Uh, yeah, they're goddesses. 1.7 million dollars a week to walk in and like, you know, a cigar shirt and go, hey, uh, has everybody seen my orange juice? What's going on? Like, that's your job as a sitcom guy. You walk in, you say something about food, and you have flatulence, and you walk out. That's really your sitcom. <laughs> Think of any sitcom in the world, that's, except for MASH, they were operating on people, there was much higher stakes, I understand that. It's nice though, <laughs> but networks can ruin toast. So I understand one part of Charlie Sheen, uh, railing against the establishment, but like, and if you don't think like networks can ruin stuff, there was a laugh track on the Flintstones. Like that's really like that's crazy person behavior to have a cartoon and have a network person go. You think we can lay in like a laugh track? Like there's an audience inside the cartoon watching the car. Maybe there's a cartoon audience. What? All right. All right. I, I, how many things did you make up today? Come on, come see some stuff. 1.7 million dollars a week. Not here's what would happen. In my as I lay in bed at night, I think of bizarre scenarios that'll never happen to me in a thousand years, but I like to think about them anyway because I'm crazy. I go, what would happen if CBS came to me and said, Jay, we have some good news. 
we have some very bad news. With good news, we have bad news. And they go, okay, what's the good news? And they go, the good news is, Gary O'Mary is going to go for another four years. And we're going to pay you $1.7 million a week. And I go, oh my God. What's the bad news? The bad news is, once a week, the showrunner, Chuck Lorre, is going to come to your dressing room, and you are going to have sex with him. <laughs> and then I would say, what's the bad news? <laughs> $1.7 million, not only would I do it, I'd be good at it. I'd be good at it. I, uh, <laughs> the most biggest problem I had with Charlie Sheen was when he was doing his interviews and he called into question the validity of AA. It really bothered me. I remember watching it on TV and being irate. He goes, AA is for losers, man. It's for trolls. I, I challenge anybody to debate me on this, man. And I wanted to jump through my TV and smack him and then debate him <laughs> on AA. Because everyone in this room, oh, he said, AA has a 5% success rate, man. That's for losers, trolls, weaklings, man. I got tire blood. I got a dumbest DNA. Then why are you on freaking crack with no job? You're like you're an actual train. You are Anna Nicole Smith with a penis. We're watching you. <laughs> like what tire blood are you talking? You have Madonna's DNA, maybe. Like what is this? He, he said, "Go spread it around, sweetheart." <laughs> success rate. I would love to know where he gets his data from, considering the second A stands for anonymous. <laughs> it's not like AA rolls out quarterly spreadsheets and goes, here's who came, that guy left, he quit, she left, they're still here, it's about 5%. <laughs> anonymous, Charlie, you idiot. Let me make, let me truncate this into a tinier argument and then I'll talk about something else. Charlie Sheen's father, one of the greatest actors, not of a generation, of all time, Martin Sheen, by the grace of God, is sober because of a program called? Yeah. All right, Charlie Sheen is the mayor of Cracktown in the Cracky <laughs> crack McCheese outfit because he quit. Yeah. That's 50%! <laughs>